That said, special relativity imposes some restrictions. It forces us to respect certain symmetries which correspond to the geometry of space-time. Symmetries of translation, rotation, or changing frame of reference. These symmetries are only respected by certain mathematical objects, and we can classify them with a parameter, spin. The simplest objects that we can use are numbers. We give them spin zero, because when we rotate space around the number, it doesn't vary. Vectors, on the other hand, indicate a direction in space. Their appearance depends on the orientation in which they are observed. We assign them spin 1, because when we rotate space by a full term, a vector also describes a full term. Finally, relativity also allows other more exotic objects, and in particular spinners, which have spin 1 half. You have to make two turns around the spinner for it to come back to its initial state. All these mathematical objects seem very abstract, and some are difficult to understand, but technically they all obey the symmetries of relativity, and are therefore potential candidates with which we could fill our universe. In addition to imposing the types of objects that are allowed, space-time symmetries also set restrictions on the way objects behave inside the field. Each symmetry forces the field to respect the conservation of certain quantities over time. To obey relativity, our field must respect the conservation of energy, momentum, angular momentum, 